Child, this cheese steak is dry. Who asked for that? The other one thinks it's better than mine. Growing up in Philly is a raw experience. Like, I'm putting on for North Philadelphia, 21st and Summer Street. Hey, y'all. What's up, yo? Uh, born and raised on South Street. No one's ever given me the rundown on where the cheesesteak has come from, but I just know it's one of the delicacies that people come from all around the world and they have to try a Philadelphia cheesesteak. What made Philly known for its cheesesteaks is a good meal for not a lot of money. Makes a great cheesesteak. The taste of the meat, if you could taste the meat. I prefer like Steakums kind of steak. I don't prefer like the ribeye steak and all those fancy other steaks that they be trying to make cheesesteaks with. Y'all know Steakums, y'all don't remember Steakums. Something that a lot of people overlook is the bread. You know, Amoroso bread. That's the quality. Onions, peppers, and then I like mayo on my cheesesteak. Salt, pepper, ketchup, mayo. Onions. Topped off with your choice of cheese, which is up for debate. Never been a whiz guy. I don't know where that cheese whiz stuff comes from, but we like American cheese in our cheesesteak. American, maybe a provolone. The best cheesesteaks are found on any corner in any hood. If you're gonna go somewhere that is, you know, like a name, Ishka Bibbles, Max's. So everyone's gonna say Max's, right? That's the black vote. If anything, we're gonna go to Max's on Broad and Erie and get our cheesesteak. But if we gonna make the Mount Rushmore, it's gonna go Pat's. It's gonna go Max's, it's gonna go Phillips, Tony Luke's, De La Sandra's. I did not use Steakums today. I used a great cut of meat, thinly sliced, made sure that I used two different types of cheeses. When I season my steak, I use a little cayenne pepper, a little bit of smoked paprika, you know, a little razzle dazzle. A little garlic powder, a little onion powder. If someone from Philly tasted my steak, they'd be like, oh, this John sickly bust. It's, it's smack. They gotta say John, though. They don't say John. <laughs> Okay, paper bag. Unorthodox, haven't seen this one before. Um, kind of giving me dog food vibes. <laughs> food types of wrapping, let's go. It's wrapped up nice and neat, it's hot, it's warm. I like those things, it's okay. Look, like it's Christmas, this thing is thoroughly, thoroughly presented. Okay, what a... <laughs> um, and then we got some lettuce. So I'm not sure if this is a cheesesteak or a hoagie, I don't know. Little lettuce, not my thing. I'm not gonna lie, the bread is for sure a hot dog bun, oh, but you know that's a Philly thing, being resourceful. I respect it, okay? Soft, it's not hard, I like that. There's some onions in here, I like that. I don't know if it's mayo. Mm -mm. It's salty. It's cheesy, it's a cheesesteak. I want to say it's like American. Lettuce is throwing me off, I'm not going to lie. The lettuce, I'm telling you, it's giving Big Mac taste. The lettuce, I don't know why they put that on there. I don't taste nothing but lettuce and meat. I taste a little bit of cheese. I don't know what kind of meat this is. It's questionable. I feel the texture of meat in there, but I don't really taste it. Somebody that's not from Philadelphia definitely made this cheesesteak. I, I can tell you that. Philly is in my heart. This ain't even from Pat. I don't know where this cheesesteak is from. It's not bad. It's really not bad. I'm really obsessed with the bread. I like the bread a lot. On a scale of one to 10, all right, I'm gonna be nice, 3.5. They tried though. <laughs> it's a seven out of 10, let's do that. I will finish it, but I'm a fat kid though. Not a lot of things I wouldn't finish. I season my meat with Creole seasoning. I chop up some peppers, I chop up some onions. I throw that all in there, let that all marinate and melt together. I put white cheddar on top, let that melt down for a little bit. I put mayo on my roll, and then I put that on top of the whole thing, and then flip that joint over. I mean, my cheesesteak is the best just because my hand is lethal, and I know how to season some food, and I know how to put together a sandwich. It's an authentic cheesesteak. They probably would say that joint popping, and they might get the itis afterward and fall asleep. That's how you know it's really good. Ooh. Okay, y'all see a little arch. You see, see a little arch? There it is. A little triangle, a little half moon, cheese steak. The meat is chopped a little thinner than I would like. Like, it's like really chopped. I see green peppers which is something that I would not normally put on my cheesesteak. Looks like we got a good amount of cheese in here. I feel like I'm gonna have a good time here. It's a 
Go ahead, Tuesday. I had to do a dramatic pause. I'm not even trying to be Joe or anything like that, but it's decent. I like it. I like the cheese. See my fingers? See that? I like that. Got the mixed bites of cheese and onion. But the bread, I'm telling you, the bread, we all throw the bread breading. The bread is a little chewy on the other side, but I don't hate it. It's not too salty or anything, not too peppery. It's a good joint. What I wish was on it. I'm not seeing any mayonnaise. You know, just maybe a little bit of heat. There's mayonnaise on it. I'm gonna give you a point for that. If you add a mayonnaise to it, it gives it another layer of flavor. It's a little steak of me. Again, that's not necessarily a bad thing. To my to my metric, I would add I would add a hot pepper to it. I would give it a six. I probably wouldn't order this for me, but I'd finish it. Do I have to? Do you want to? Not really. 8.7. I want whoever made this to keep making cheese steaks. I'm going with my own lane on this. So I made a customized Ron signature cheesesteak. So on this one, I was like, yo, my favorite side at my dad's soul food spot was mac and cheese. And then the sauce, the mild sauce, some of the best sauce you've ever had. So I thought it'd be dope to do like a soul food mashup with the mainstream cheesesteak. Instead of American cheese, we got sharp cheddar cheese mac and cheese as the replacement. Steakums, halal. You see that little crease right there? and Marosa. I'm gonna win today because I carry Philly on my back wherever I go. People are like, you from Philly? I'm like, I am, how'd you know? Mm-mm. Already see macaroni and cheese on here, and who asked for that? It's the automatic mm. Mm-mm. I don't know what this is. No, 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 no. I'm gonna get this water now. Not for the sandwich, just cleanse my palate. This is a burger chopped up. This is like a chopped cheese with macaroni on top. No. This definitely looks like this is more some sort of like sir sirloin or this is definitely not steakums. Steakums, halal. I mean, I, I'm gonna give it a fair shot because I'm that type. You know, I like to be very diplomatic. Mm-mm. This is absolutely not a cheesesteak. You have this great steak right here. This is a delicious cut of steak. Well cooked, well seasoned. Steakums, halal. And you just go against the grain. I don't know. Even the mac and cheese alone, like y'all could at least did justice on the mac and cheese. This, mm-mm, chow. Whoever made that mac and cheese don't need to be in the kitchen ever again. The steak and the bread, fantastic. Love the onions. That's cool. There is some sort of like vinegar. It's perfectly fine. There's always wiggle room for the toppings. Until you throw macaroni and cheese in there. Why not some yams, huh? The onions, that's the whole hallmark of the sandwich is the onions. And that steak ain't right. I'm gonna give it a six. Minus two, cause you put macaroni and cheese on my cheese steak. So four for me, dog. This is like a negative two point out. My dog would enjoy this. It looks like dog food. That's what this is giving. It's not giving like, mm -mm, not human consumption. What's up guys, it's your boy Derek Hayes, CEO and founder of the world famous Big Dave Cheese Steaks. And today, I'm here to taste other people's cheese steaks. And you know I'm from West Philly, so I know what a real cheese steak is, so they're gonna have a hard time wild with me. Like, I'm gonna look to see if they sauteed the onions, I'm gonna look to see how the seasoning is, I'm gonna look the roll. The roll gotta be the other half of the sandwich. If the roll is soft, like, I wanna see all of that, so I'm looking forward to it. This is a hot dog bun. If this was coming from Big Dave's and it had lettuce on it, I would call it a cheesesteak hoagie, but this is a cheesesteak hot dog because it's just a hot dog roll, so. It tastes like a cheesesteak chili dog. <laughs> the texture is a little funny. Steak tastes more like a steakum. The onions taste like, like sauerkraut a little bit. <laughs> I'm gonna have to at least give it some points because it's still food, so. This one, I'm gonna give a two out of 10. Yeah, this ain't my style cheesesteak. Okay, we got a roll. And if I'm not mistaken, this is an Amorosa roll. I know this roll from anywhere. They gotta catch up on it. This cheesesteak was made with a little love. It's giving me like bottom of the barrel type of steak, but the process of them knowing how to make a cheesesteak they know the steps of the cheesesteaks. I think this sandwich uh, could get a lot better if they use better ingredients. 
in a row is helping them out a lot. But I would give this one a five out of 10. Three points for the bread, two points for knowing the steps of a cheesesteak. All right, so this one right here is interesting. I got macaroni and cheese cheesesteak, I guess. What the hell is this? Again, this cheesesteak right here is made on an Amarosa roll, so you're gonna get points for that. Cherry peppers or something chopped up. But the macaroni and cheese look cheesy though, so. Let, let, let's see where it's at right now. <laughs> My eyes are watering. It's got some tanginess to it. I'm gonna give you some points because of your father because I honored my business to my father. The story behind it gets you some cool points, but we're gonna work on this recipe, and I'll be here to help. I'm gonna give this one a five out of 10, um, and a five is uh, for effort. I knew my cheesesteak was gonna be the best cheesesteak because I, like I said, my hands are lethal. So I wouldn't expect anything less than this cheesesteak right here to be the best cheesesteak. <laughs> I know what I'm doing and I'm from Philly, like. My apologies uh, to the ancestors, first and foremost. Could've did better, I should've did better. I'ma do better next time. Boo this woman. Look, sometimes you lose in life, okay? But you don't stop coming back to compete, all right? But in the long term, it's gonna be a harrowing journey to the top. This has been fun because I got a chance to taste people's cheesesteaks. Me being a, a cheesesteak king, you know, having my locations down in Atlanta, Georgia. If y'all never been there, make sure y'all check them out. I got locations all over the city of Atlanta. Also got three in the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. Y'all have a good day.